Ah, the need for racing. It has existed since humans became human, but it became more prominent with the arrival of cars, an urge to test the machines and to compete for speed. No doubt the development and engineering of motor vehicles has always been linked to that of the Grand Prix. Here we take a look at eight races that shaped motorsport. The first international race in history was created by millionaire James Gordon Bennett Jr., the owner of the New York Herald. It was in 1899 when Gordon Bennett offered a trophy to the Automobile Club of France. The first race covered 568 miles from Paris to Lyon. Each year's race had to be hosted in the country of the latest winner, and thus in 1903 it was hosted in Ireland. The Gordon Bennett race only lasted until 1905, after which the ACF organised the first Grand Prix motor racing in Le Mans. American car enthusiast William K. Vanderbilt Jr. wanted to have an international race event like those that were mushrooming in Europe. So in 1904 he founded the Vanderbilt Cup, a race for all countries around the world. These exciting races started in Long Island, but before World War I it had moved to Wisconsin, Santa Monica and San Francisco. Revived in 1936, it became a 300 mile race at the newly built Roosevelt Raceway. In the early stages of US motoring, the number one road race was the Vanderbilt Cup. But road racing became too dangerous, and after being forgotten for many years, it was only last summer that the famous race was revived as a track event and won by Italy's Tazio Nubilari. But it suffered a gradual decay, until it merged with another race and lost its name. However, it was the first American race, and the event that saw the rise to glory of some of the earliest winning racing cars. A rally takes place on public roads with road cars that have been modified or specially built. And if we're talking about rallies, we have to mention the most glamorous one. In 1909, Prince Albert I commanded Monaco's Automobile Club to organise it in order to attract tourism. And who could say no to a prince? Two years later, 23 cars started at 11 different locations in Europe, all converging on Monte Carlo. In a very Monegasque style, not just about the driving, the rally also judged the elegance of the car, passenger comfort, and the condition in which it arrived in Monte Carlo. After several years, the Monte, as it is known, started racing along the French Riviera, establishing the iconic roads that range from the sunny coast to the snowy mountains. No doubt the casinos, Grace Kelly and this rally turned Monaco into the perfect James Bond setting. But far from a stunt race, the Monte Carlo Rally is one of the most difficult challenges for drivers to finish. From cars to motorbikes. The International Isle of Man Toys Trophy is the oldest and most prestigious motorcycle race in the world. No other place has anything like the motorcycle glamour of the Isle of Man during the TT races. In the early 1900s, there was a speed restriction of 20 miles per hour on automobiles in the UK, so due to their flexibility, the Isle of Man started to become a regular place to hold races. In 1907, the first Isle of Man TT was held, reaching average speeds of above 38 miles per hour. This is an extremely dangerous race, because competitors ride at very high speeds on narrow streets and lanes flanked by walls, trees and many other obstacles. With over 200 fatalities from 1907 to 2015, the Isle of Man TT is the biggest and most dangerous thing. Possibly the last of the legendary road races, the Mille Emilia was founded in 1927 by Italian car lover Count Imo Margi. With the city of Brescia as the starting and finishing point, the Mille Emilia covered 1,000 miles of the Italian countryside. It was the race where the finest Italian Gran Turismo brands showed their finesse. However, the race was cancelled in 1957 following a fatal crash that killed Ferrari driver Spaniard Alfonso de Portago. Suddenly clouding the moment of victory comes news of disaster. 30 miles back, de Portago and Nelson have crashed, killing themselves and 10 others. A burst tyre at 120 miles an hour sent his Ferrari hurtling into the crowd, and five of the dead were children. Called the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indianapolis 500 started in 1911 and is still held every year in May. This is the oldest of the triple crown of motorsport, the three most prestigious motor races in the world. Held in the perfectly oval motor speedway at Indianapolis, the 500 in its name refers to the total distance in miles from start to finish, about 200 laps. At first it was the huge prize money. 
$50,000 in 1912 that attracted many countries from around the world. But soon the Indy 500 evolved, limiting the engine size and becoming a must-attend event in the motorsport circuit. Running from 1923, the 24 Hours of Le Mans is the world's oldest active sports car race and endurance racing. The challenge is not small. Racing teams have to balance speed with the car's ability to race for 24 hours without sustaining mechanical damage. But why create such a race, you might say? At a time when Europe was full of Grand Prix racing, Le Mans was designed to test car companies to build sporty yet reliable cars. Here, fuel efficiency, aerodynamics and high-speed stability become paramount. The youngest of the Triple Crown of motorsport, the Monaco Grand Prix started in 1929 as a consequence of a status dispute by Monaco's Automobile Club. As we've seen, this club had founded the Monte Carlo Rally in 1911. When they asked to be upgraded from a regional French club to a national one, they were rejected because the rally mostly used the roads of other European countries. This triggered the idea to create an automobile Grand Prix in the streets of Monte Carlo. The topography of the location, with its narrow curves, made it a thrilling spot for a race. Through history in Monaco, names like Fangio, Graham Hill, Nicky Lauda or Senna entered the Olympus of motor racing stars. Flashy and dangerous, you might think. But the truth is that motor racing has played a key role in the history of sport, culture and technology in the 20th century and beyond. <laughs>